Already a former middle school teacher and baseball coach in Bellingham, already accused of secretly videotaping a student, has now been hit with dozens of new charges. Police have discovered more victims. As WBZ's Paul Burton shows us, prosecutors say they have recordings dating back to at least 2012. I can't believe that this happened. I'm shocked. My kids go to the school, and he was one of the teachers that everybody loved. Parents at Bellingham Middle School are sickened to hear more horrifying allegations against a beloved teacher and coach. Scott McDonald faced a judge on Thursday. The Bellingham teacher, initially accused in November of secretly recording a 14-year-old boy in a bathroom, was arraigned on 61 additional charges related to secret recordings of unsuspecting teenage boys. I mean, it makes me want to throw up. I mean, how could somebody do something like that? These are innocent children. Our children should be safe when they go to school. Some of the charges include secretly recording nude or partially nude juvenile males. After months of investigative work, 21 victims have been identified. The videos date back as far as 2012. It's just a very sad situation, and I, my heart breaks for the kids. Investigators say many of the alleged crimes happened here inside McDonald's home on Payne Street. He no longer lives here, but according to court papers, he enticed his students and his players to use his bathroom, where he secretly recorded them with his cell phone, many on several occasions. One of the victims spotted the cell phone and reported it. McDonald has been fired from both his teaching and coaching positions. Today, the school department released a statement saying, I'm shocked and saddened by this new information about the alleged abhorrent conduct on the part of a former employee. We understand that you place your trust in us every day when you send your children to school. We take seriously our responsibility to safely care for your children. I hope justice is served because this is despicable and absolutely unacceptable. These are innocent kids. McDonald is due back in court on May 9th in Bellingham on Paul Burton, WBZ News.